Hello, YTBC, friends, countrymen, members of the world, and fellow Welsh Americans, and fellow Welsh people in Wales. Hey, how you doing? Uncle Sam, black coffee, 8 o'clock coffee. Not just for 8 a.m., but any time of the day. And uh, I'm smoking my Middleton Mariner estate pipe. Picked up about five or six years ago on eBay. As you know or do not know, I love my English estate pipes. And what is in it, pray tell? Orlick Golden Slice. Sliced? Anyway, it's sliced. Put this down. Cold here this morning. Uh, 33. I don't know if you can see that or not. It might be backwards. 33, 34. Anyway, last night at work. Got a work story for you. Now, as you know or don't know, but I think you know by now, if you're a regular, uh, viewer of this channel. I work at the Pittsburgh International Airport for the airport itself, not an airline, for the airport. And uh, my duties is the control room, watching the baggage belt system, which is eight and a half miles of loops and scoops and dupes from land side at the ticket counter to airside where you board and deplane. Anyway, last night I was not in the control room. I was down on land side working with my co-worker and it was uh, my night with him to uh, monitor the baggage claims and the other carousels in that uh, where you pick up your bags at the baggage claim. So, we're in the break room and we have an alarm system and uh, tells you there's a jam, meaning there's a stuck bag or something is wrong. The belt's not running down at the baggage claim where you get your bags. And this happened to be Spirit Airlines, their claim. So uh, we went down and as we approached the baggage claim, there was a guy coming out. Okay, you have the baggage claim, it's a circle, and then the, the bags come down a chute, okay? And there's like a flaps, curtains, but they're like, you know, uh, plastic flaps. Well, this guy, customer, was up there because the bag was stuck. He was trying to retrieve the bag. <clears throat> so... First of all, very dangerous. That belt could start up any time and you're gonna go for a ride. There's pinch points, and there's false ceilings. You could fall, very dangerous. Number two, that is a federal offense. Okay, that is a secure area. Once you get on that baggage belt system, okay, on that carousel, okay, and walk up that chute, Okay, go through those curtains. Now you are in a secure area. That is a federal offense. You will get handcuffed if you get caught. And uh, you will be prosecuted by the state of Pennsylvania. And uh, most every other state in the United States and our territories do the same. So, me and my coworker are looking this guy comes off. He goes, oh, that's not the problem. Well, lo and behold, there happened to be a police officer walking by, coincidentally, making his rounds. So we hit the e-stop, okay, which this guy didn't do because the carousel's still running, even though the main line uh, where the spirit employees uh, dropped the incoming bags is still running. Okay, 
that that part was stopped because of the jam, but the the carousel itself was still running. We hit that e stop, and before we went up to clear the jam, which happened to be a car seat, uh, the straps on the car seat got caught in a pinch point and stopped the line, backed up all the bags, and now all these passengers are freaking out, wondering why the line stopped. Well, the employees for all the airlines are supposed to use these big plastic tubs. You're supposed to put in the, uh, you're supposed to put the uh, items like car seats, small bags into these tubs. Well, anyway, they didn't use that, so hence it got stuck. Anyway, before we went up to do our job, we looked out of the corner of our eye, and they had my man cuffed. And you know how cops are, you know. Now they got like 25,000 cops down there. Like it's like, uh, you know, SWAT or something, you know. They got my man cuffed, and they're hauling him away. <laughs> and there's signs everywhere in Pittsburgh. You go on that line, you can get hurt. I don't know how it's worded, you know, but you can get hurt, and it's against the law. So uh, as we were walking up the line to do the get the car seat unstuck, get the line moving again so people could get their bags, my man's cuffed. And he's going to the Pittsburgh International Airport, Allegheny County Police Department uh, to get uh, arraigned or whatever the heck they do. So I uh, thought I'd share that story with you. Uh, what's everybody doing today? I'm off. I'm off today. Uh, I don't really have anything planned. I think I'm going to go grocery shopping. I usually do that on Thursdays. I pick up odds and ends. Uh, Saturday, my grandson Henry is six years old. So we're going to have a birthday party at the Texas Roadhouse for him. And uh, he wanted Lego Minecraft. Has anybody priced Legos? lately $62 hang on hang on I'm going to show you this okay stare at the stare at my easy chair it's right there I'll be right back don't go away don't go away make a commercial up in your mind Sir Walter Riley it packs right it packs like Sir Walter Riley Hey, I'm back. Do you miss me? Okay. This Lego, the kids' Minecraft is real popular now. Real popular. $62 for a bunch of plastic crap. 62. That's six and a two point zero zero. Sixty-two dollars Dude, this is probably... They probably made this like for like 10 bucks. Yeah. But that's what he wanted. And of course, Pap is going to get him what he wants because that's the way that goes. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're doing Saturday, Texas Roadhouse, Henry's birthday. Uh, East Coast. East Coast is, gonna, is supposed to get hit big time. Uh, by a snowstorm and another one is following that next week um, here in the Ohio Valley which Pittsburgh and the surrounding counties are considered the Ohio, Ohio Valley Eastern Ohio Panhandle of West Virginia and Western PA is considered well Southern Western PA up in Erie by Lake Erie that part of Western PA is not considered the Ohio Valley but uh, we're going to miss it. We're supposed to get two or three inches on the second storm later next week, where your Boston, your Philly, I'm sure you've heard, they're supposed to get pounded. 
with like a couple feet of snow or something. Yeah, keep it there. Snow. Hate it. Anyway, that's it for me. Have a good Thursday. Have a good Friday. Have a good Saturday. And uh, as always, thank you for watching. All right, guys and gals. Bye now. Thank you.